I just dropped the waiting room when I set up this old account so that we don't have to keep on checking. If someone signs in, they're going to show up. I, we don't have to let them in and monitor that. So, um, but there's nobody here. So at this point, we'll go on to uh, accounts payable warrant. Um, accounts payable warrant number 2312, dated 921. I'll make sure I have the right, not payroll. Oh, right, I can't, I can tell. Uh, 92122. <clears throat> In the amount of $28,207.17. Before discussion, may I have a second? Sure. Seconded by Bruce. Any discussion? Yes. I had sent out the contract and any other company paperwork required by, by Judy uh, two or three days after he actually finished the work. Uh, and I met him at the door because he was here to do some preliminary for some other work that might be done here. This is for Larson's electric. This is for Larson's electric. And uh, I mentioned to him that I would be having the the uh, paperwork in the mail to him shortly. Or and I asked him if he wanted it mailed or email. He said emailing. So I, I did get it done. I think that might have been it was the last select board meeting. Yet, so that was Wednesday. And then uh, I had it I had it out into the email uh, Friday night or very early Saturday, I forget which. Mm -hmm. So there's been almost two weeks and it hasn't come back. So uh, as an incentive to have it completed, I would recommend that we not pay that one and approve, uh, or whatever the proper process is, approve it but not release it, or whether it's best to not approve that one and just release it when he signs it, uh, or does that mean it has to be on the next? account payable warrant. I, I don't know how that's how it's done. I think the best way would be this is for a bill for seven thousand seven hundred and eighty dollars. And I said that you wrote to Judy about it, you know, for coverage and that. You, you have here it's gonna get covered by ARPA? No. Oh no. Is Wait, it are you, let, let me see. Is that my my note? Temporarily because it's a ninety seven hundred dollar check coming Green Mountain Power cover. You understand? What do you want to do? Take that 100% out of the budget? It'll yeah. probably cover it. Okay. All right. So, okay. so you think that was your note? Okay. Yes. Th th this was, okay. I understand right. what you're right. saying. Right. That was my next question, which is what we're going to get from Green Mountain Power for I that. It's going to release a check for 97. Okay. Um, I think what Stan was saying, and what I would like to see done, is to approve the accounts payable warrant, but including the check payment for $7,780, except hold the check back until he returns his signed paper. Okay, I have a question. He did work for us before, so we never got into it. No, but it was a contract. It's, it, it's a contract he has to sign. Oh, oh, the contract, not right. insurance. Contract yeah. and whether or not he has a W9, whether he has a certificate of liability, all those things are duty Yeah, so, well, That's different. Yeah, so, we, so I think what we're doing is approving this. Oh, he'll get it signed here fast. He wants his money. Okay, yeah. right. I did verbally tell him that he would not be paid until those documents were concluded and signed and that they were important. And, and we also need to inspect that we're supposed to. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. And then the inspector has to inspect it because it's a commercial building and, it, and he brought an inspector over. I didn't meet the guy, but I was there at that time and it was inspected. Is inspected. there any report on that inspection that we can put in our file? Uh, that would be great if we could go put it in our file. Really. Not really. Maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Emmett has so many documents. documents. I'm not trying to document it. He did mention. That he's done a lot of stuff for him. He wasn't here 10 minutes to God. 
Sort of well, we had this, well, he inspected <laughs> the lighting that we did here, and he inspected the generator. So I, that, that's good, but I think there was paperwork with that. All right, we'll find that. But right now we're in the discussion, so we had a motion to approve, and the second the discussion is to hold back the one check for 7780 until the paperwork is received. And he was given it to him two weeks ago. Yes. It was given to him two weeks ago. Uh, but, uh well probably three days short of two eleven days ago. Okay. Well, you knew that. Okay. okay. All right. Any and, other discussion? And I, I meant I mentioned this to Dot yesterday and mentioned his name, but uh he has not submitted the proper paperwork to maintain his business name with the state of Vermont. There's an annual fee and a form that's required to be sent to the state. And so the state has him as a terminated entity. I emailed him that as well for him to take care of. It's a small annual fee of 50, 100 bucks, something like that. Really? Just so you know that. Okay. So it's getting rid of Any other discussion? He knows about that too. I, I emailed him uh, when the cover letter that I produced regarding the contract. I think, like, given the email we had, I didn't know what his business name actually was. And I it was a week, that was a Friday night. I didn't want to, I couldn't bother him. But, okay. So I logged on to the Secretary of State's office where anyone who has a business uh, acquires this file number and pays the fee and is certified as a legal business entity every single year. I did it when I had my business in Massachusetts. Okay. So that's why I knew about it and where it was. So I got his formal name that way because there was no, other than Larson Electric, I didn't know if he was a partnership, a sole proprietor, right. whether he was an LLC. Right. Turns out he's an LLC. But So I submitted the contract so I had it hopefully right the first time and not have to redo it a second time for everybody that now it's signing twice, just to be as quick, concise, and accurate as possible. So he's aware of it. I put it in the cover letter. I have to call him tomorrow because there's some outlet issues. And, and All right, but let's stick to this. So I'll uh, say I'll, 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 I'll goose him. Yeah, just Careful start. what you talk. talking about. All right. All those so in favor of accounts payable 2312 uh, in the amount of $28,207.17 with the understanding of holding back and that Larson Electric until legal paperwork is returned. <laughs> Signify by saying aye. 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 All in favor, the motion passes, and I'll pass this around for everybody to sign. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> Okay, thank you for the signing that. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to approve payroll check warrant 2311, dated 9 14 22, in the amount of $4,884.16. May I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Noga. Any discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor of approving payroll warrant 2311 for 914.22 in the amount of $4,884.16 signify by saying aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. I'll pass it enough for us to sign it. <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, um, road supervisor, Mr. Bills, I know you talked about tree service. Uh, I don't know what you would like to report to the board. Okay, I only because of the last couple of times that we've had some tree work done, uh, we use our tree service. We had asked Bloom Tree, but because we didn't have the spraying equipment, uh, he declined the work. So I contacted Car Tree, <laughs> uh, with regards to 
a one day uh, service with his tree company and he now asks for $3,000 per day of full service with all of his equipment. Uh, he gets more for residential work, but for the towns, he offers $3,000 a day uh, tree removal. And as far as availability, he said he has room for a day in October or November. So I know that we have lots of trees to address, uh, and I think the high priority hazardous trees for a day of tree removal. I didn't know if you wanted to gather prices from others. Um, now, there is a, a road performance meeting coming up October 2nd. At the town of Dover, and they're uh, going to talk about ash tree and ash tree oh. removal. So I didn't, I wasn't quite sure um, if we should wait as far as the ash trees go. I don't know if there's some grant money that may be available. There's some sort of a program they're putting together for just ash trees. So, I have some sad news though. We're just looking at the budget and it's Enjoy. beat okay. right now <laughs> with the, uh, $64,000 meeting that was done and the paving that's getting done now and Parker Road and Hill Road, no FEMA money has come in yet. Yes. And so we're sort of beat right now. Okay. Um, I, I'm concerned about having, I, I like the idea of Dealing with the ash trees after you hear about right. what the road form is, if there is grant money. I don't like to have hazardous trees left because of lack of money, though. Um, and anyway, who can say how hazardous is a hazard? I know my light slipped last night at nine o'clock, and all my lights, all my clocks went off. Yeah, me too. And kind of tree branch came down. Right. Kind of, but um, do you have any, can you envision any? Major hazards at this time. I know the money is modified. It's hard to nail it down. A tree that's going to come down at a certain time. Um, there, there was a maple tree on Hill Road. The top broke off and came down the other night during the rainstorm. And I had made a phone call to the power company about that one. Thank you. This was. Over a year ago. Oh, and they so. But <laughs> they, they threw a little stuff near it, but they left it standing. And, and, they, oh. and also trees throughout town the same. Uh, they have an ongoing list with their contracted tree people, and they know there's going to be trouble, and they try to address the. the the hazardous ones that they can, but there's just so many, they deal with them as they come down. So it's hard, you can't really say. I know that they're, they're dead and pieces are falling. Um, so I guess, you know. Um, we might have some better information at the next meeting, the next select board meeting. Right. And especially if there's time in November. For <laughs> yeah. But if we can bring that back. Sure. Table right at this time. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Like saying, the top, it's it's 50, we're 50. I talked to Melissa yesterday. Quite a while. She's really, she's really yeah, remember, he's in type of trying to hear it. Hear it. Okay. Yeah. I talked to Melissa Brown yesterday for quite a while. And the one thing that she brought up was the summer road fund. Is there were 50,000 in the hole. I said, well, it's got to be because of FEMA, which it is. So my question is if we've allowed 40 some odd thousand dollars per for some of maintenance work, getting that fifty thousand dollars back, where where would we be at? We we can't do that now with obvious because we don't have the money. But what I'm getting at is, she said we're fifty thousand dollars in the hole. That's not what I thought. That's what she said to me. It looks like I didn't I didn't gather she 
didn't know what other jobs were outstanding and how much we had committed to those. A letter, the email that she sent me on oh, wow. my request. And so I sent her that information uh, uh, mid to late afternoon today. Her letter emailed to me prior to that was uh, she would not be encouraging any further expenses because it wow. looks like we're in the hole. Uh, she didn't say it quite that way, but she said it'd be something we've had to refrain from expend any more, more expenditures for I went. And and then she's finished up by saying, I'm still not quite sure and I need to do more work to know what or have more information to know exactly where this might work out to be. Right. And that's when I sent her the additional information. And I might have sent, I think both of you yeah. a copy of that email. Right. And the the dip, the steady spending <laughs> of the ninety two thousand dollars. You know, we had a she may not be aware of any carryover from the previous year. She's just looking at this year too. Uh, again. Well, she did she she did one in the financial statements for year end 630 uh 2022. So unless there's a, a mistake and she's been pretty good, I and she's experienced, I mean I don't know what to make of that thought. It's a thought, it may be, but her her email to me said we and she lit, actually listed out. I brought it with me. The expenses have occurred since yeah. the first of July. Jeez, right? Yes, and they're up to ninety three thousand dollars. So was the uh, paving yes uh, uh, separated into uh, the treatment budget because that's a separate budget than the town road. <laughs> it has its own budgeted money set aside just for paving. In treatment. If I recall that balance was, was in the forty five thousand dollar range because it was thirty it was uh, thirty or thirty five last year and then we added fifteen in this year's current budget to bring it up to the forty five I think yeah. so the forty five is less than the sixty four by nineteen thousand so I would assume that's a negative of that amount at least for that. And she listed the others, and there was another thirty thousand comes up in that list mm -hmm. for other things. <clears throat> right, it's the Alta rentals, the uh, summer AS Clark materials, um, Alta Mays and Brothers. Well, Alta should be oh, in the uh, summer summer. Lease a rental program. Right. right, but it's still, still from the highway. It is. Right. It is. But we had a budget of money for that. And also, so we still overshot it. But they had it. That's no, the thing. No, if, I, 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 we I, I, wouldn't be talking about this right now. And I'm going to call her. I emailed her today, calling her tomorrow, and say, You've got to release what has been approved, what I've signed off on, what you've approved, you what signed it's off. It's ridiculous. How long ago is that? Been? Right. It'll be a year in July. No, no, I meant since, um, since, since it, well, I remember back in the winter, this guy was saying, we're going to have money uh, by the end of June. Yeah, well, that was like, year, like, like it happened. never happened. Oh, I know. And she's getting stalled now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, we basically switched the manager on us. Maybe for the better, I'm not sure. But um, the woman that I'm dealing with, she was away for a week. I was away for a week, and we touched face today. And I'll talk to her tomorrow. But she's got to release. She wants to talk about mitigation issues, you know, and how mitigation will help. But I, I just, I, I'm like, we're, we're doing this FEMA work, but you're not compensating us back. So we're this is a small town. This is a problem. But. Just tell her we love checks. I mean, the decisions are working. Yeah, we're really, the same. You know, we're talking 14 months now at the end of this month. Yes. That's ridiculous. It is. We're entitled to the money. When you have to do get a wire and pay that? Oh, no. I think we're in rental. The budgeted amount was close to $8,000, and we're up over sixty. And I think yeah, it's but, but, for what? but with the anticipation that last year, 100% of the rental was covered oh, by the rental. Uh, we put that in for the reimbursement 100 percent last year and we'll get percentage we'll get some of that money right back this year right, too right but uh, i guess well, I, I know that yeah. i'm gonna what do we have to put out the cash i need in the future so i'm good to know that yes good to know that 
And of course, and taxes haven't all been collected we, either for the year. Only one quarter is taxes. So hopefully, we'll receive grant money back. Right, grant money's coming back in. Hmm. And I also sent her, she wanted to know what the budget was for fiscal year 23. So I sent her a copy of the town report, which included the budget we had worked on last year. Right, year. right. So she's got all the stuff now to, for her to look at it and come up with an opinion. This is a theme one. No, no this, this is not always, always one. Right. And I refer her to Dot for any theme right particulars that might. And she's focus. working with the same woman. So she, she and Jay oh, Wilson. She? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. So, so we got a handle on it, but not, not a number. But this, <laughs> is, this is holding us up because we can't do anything in the summer. Summer Road Fund because we're in the whole big time because of FEMA. I think last year we stopped the Hill Road project because last year we were running short of money at the same time because they weren't. We spent a lot of initial work with A.S. Clark when they did the emergency work. Do we have money to pay Clark? Oh. You got two hands across, thing. No. I'm going out of town. All right. I'm, All right. I'm, I'm going out. I'm leaving town, so I'm going to go. Just <laughs> um, the fact that the saving is taking place on the mountain and the green works getting underway on the hill road. Right. Terrific. Um, and the only other thing was. Um, it would be nice if somehow we could, after we have our Zoom meeting with the FEMA rep, if we could, I, I thought, I think it would be to our advantage to put the three foot band in the culvert in this year. So if, 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 if they should get us some money to pay for the install, yeah. that's what they have to understand. I, I noticed that yeah. the last two times we've gotten rain, uh, substantial yeah. rain. I noticed Ed, the guy that lives right where the major part of the road wash, mm -hmm. uh, sandbag the driveway, and he's a little nervous. Yeah, nobody wants to live that way. And, and, in the house. and I actually dug on the outlet side of that over that's there. It's partially plugged and it's squished to the point where they just couldn't take the Fire volume water, you yeah. know. I feel if somehow we give up something or if we if that needs to be done is, sooner rather than yeah, later. Yeah, before before winter seasons have it done and allow it to set up a little bit. Okay. Here and here, better with it. I should know more tomorrow though. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. <coughs> then we're gonna we'll move on to the next. Item? Sure. Okay. Yep. Uh, highway, Mr. Noga, what, what could you share with us? Okay, it sounds like we're going to meet the uh, time frame on Hill Road so that we won't lose the uh, grant money on that project. Uh, I will do the contract for that and Good. email it to A.S. Clark uh, tomorrow. So uh, they will have that then, and I will, when I go home, I'll just let them know it's coming. Apologize for the delay. And, and you just remind me, what was that uh, deadline for that? Uh, I they, have it they wanted it. They wanted the report with the photos and that set up by the uh, 30th of this month, which is uh, next Friday. <coughs> and I'm unfortunately on vacation next week. So, uh, but irrespective of my vacation, I contacted the fellow that you and I had walked the roads with that yep. day, Jeff and Jeff, 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 yeah. and, and said, I I wasn't sure that the work would be done on time, and is there any leeway? And he said, yeah, there's a few days leeway. I have a suspicion it could be a week or two and then it's yeah. to it. So right. after that's done, you and I get to get together and take the photographs and, and, and whatever we need to fill out with his assistance to to get that grant money over and done with and file the actual claim for the grant. Okay. Um, so the, probably the week after, the first full week of our, October, I guess. Yeah. If you, uh, if you whenever if, it's a good day for you. I, yeah. yeah. You you give me a notice. All right. I'll be there. Okay. So we will get that money and then 
So Linda costing the town roughly 12,000 plus, between 12 and 13,000 as opposed to. Yeah, 19,000. Yeah, 19,9. Uh, Mark. So, so that, that, that answers, I think, your question. It's one of the things I should be talking about. Uh, so the contract, and then, and you already know, Mark said the, the paving is going on. I, uh, to, to help us out on the highway and road grant, there's been some discussion over the past. I think you and Doc, if I'm wrong, let me know. We were talking about, we didn't know, we had reason to believe that the bond that we had gotten could be used for other things and possibly the bridge. Maybe roads, maybe a heavy equipment. So I'm thinking, 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 uh, I really got to do something this week about that. Find out as soon as possible because I'm going to be away and then you know, I mean, we already missed the first loan application date for heavy equipment with the, the people that we would have to apply with. So now the earliest we can look at getting a piece of equipment, if things fall together right, would be in April. So we you talking about the hundred. You weren't talking about hundred thousand. What's left of the hundred thousand? It's now ninety thousand. Okay, it's it's in an asset account. So it's it's money to be played with if we can play with it for the right reasons. Uh -huh. So we're so researching that. Okay. And have we been using that money to pay the payment? No, no. Well, that was the budget. We've always collected That's five thousand to pay. Yes, I thought so. Okay, so from Great. here on out, we shouldn't have to do that unless we use that money for something else. So it's yeah. there, because then it has to be made up. It's not. So you're going to find out if we can go on a spending spree. Yeah, well, okay. or pay our bills. We oh, pay bills, our bills, and then we've been looking. We've been looking at getting Mark, and and this has been the subject of the town for for years now. If we can get that, if we can make up any deficits in terms of oh. being less dependent for immediate reimbursement, mandatory reimbursement oh. from FEMA, it, it takes a big burden off everybody around the state. And the town. Sure. Okay. Um, how many years do we have? Ten years. years. We saw about ten, ten years. years. Well, nine. Nine. Okay, and so so I, I brought it up and I said, we, I identified myself, my role, et cetera, I spoke with her about it, asked her the question, this is we're, we're in a bind right now because of some issues with another federal entity, with a federal entity, and it would be nice to have this money to play with. And I explained the fact that it isn't an asset account with a $90,000 balance. And we've been collecting from the citizens the annual Ten thousand dollars, but we're at a point now where right. we're going to take ten thousand a year out of that asset to pay the annual liability until it's down to zero. Or can we use that money and continue doing what we've been doing, which is to right. attend in the budget? So she said, "I don't know the answer. I'm the controller. I don't know the policies and procedures." And she said, "The other thing I don't know is what category that loan was made to you under." Well, I am aware that in some circumstances. This is optimistic. She said that they have allowed the towns to spend it for certain other things if the loan is in a certain category. So she says, I can't say they will, I can't say they won't. Okay. The, the gentleman that would most likely handle it is out of the office until early next week. The guy that's the president or dip director, he is not available at, at earliest until Friday afternoon. She says, I have no doubt from me back to you between Friday afternoon and sometime early next week to answer your question. And then I did one other thing because I, I just thought I'd double check. I said, we were told some time ago that if we just took all the money in there and paid the whole thing off, it's any the same as our money. We could money. do it. Would, would, is it better for us, less costly, if we pay it off now or given the fact that it's in a bond pool, is it going to be more costly for us to pay that off now? Because well, if we can save... The way I understood it, Dennis, you couldn't pay over it. That's what they said before. I'm just rechecking. Yeah. She, she asked me a that's question, a idea. and I don't know what to make of it. She said, when were you told that? And I said, oh, several years ago. Oh. The only reason she could have said that was maybe they changed the rules. Okay. You know? Or, or she just not familiar with it. And doesn't know, so okay. but she thought she'd ask. Okay. So in any event, I told her I said probably four or five years ago that we were told that. And and so she said she would relate that and the fact that we want to use it for road work, possibly equipment purchase. I specifically said that. We got road work that needs to be done. We're also contemplating buying some equipment 
And it would be wonderful a God saying if we had use of that money. And she gives you the answer, she says, we'll have it in writing. I would insist on it. I'm sure you would. Uh, when I got the $27,000 from the town from the ACCB, back last time I was on the board, I got everything in writing. Yeah. So that it, nobody could renege along the way. Okay, and I would do the or, same here if this applies. Okay. So so I've done that and, and I think I sent you each an email about it. Mm -hmm. uh, so that you have your files, what I've asked and what I want to expect that to go mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, short, of, short of having said those things, I have nothing further to add. All right. Well, thank you very much, Jim Farrell, and to uh, work on those grant files. Mr. Bella, you're next. Okay. Uh, he helped your gun up and running. Fantastic. Oh. Thank you. And they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been getting on Stephanie's uh, I don't say that. Uh, Stephanie's uh, whatever to read the booklet, and and next week when I come back or we can when I come back, I, I don't want to hear anything that they're using those gas boilers and say. So I'm going to be looking to make sure that they have their timers set on the heat pumps. I was suggesting to them if you want the heat set at 70, whenever that is, that you set the gas. The gas boilers five degrees anyway below the heat pumps so that they don't come on unless necessary. Not to do the reverse. You follow? Okay. Uh, waiting on the ninety-seven hundred dollars from Green Mountain Power. When is uh, that going to come? Uh, he told me last week I'll get the check cut. So whenever that comes. Oh, so it's within a month. Probably. Hopefully, and I also. Uh, at, the, at the time, uh, Lars Lush was over here and Ken was over here. I had to look at this page for a couple of bumps in here just with bank blank and giggles. And we get some we get some money back on that too. So I'm not at this point ready to, to tell you how much net on that is what, what we could do. But initially, Dan Mackey from Green Mountain Power will be getting $9,700. Well, you're doing one heat pump. I said, no, we're doing two heat pumps. And he had me submit to him three years oil bill for this building. And he's looking into it, see if he can get some more money. He got some money, 700 bucks. <laughs> for, for Susie, I was like stunned. So I don't know what that's, that's going to all shake up. Maybe I'll have some answers. Okay. Uh, we've had a problem with the UV system. As you know, we have two UV systems, mm -hmm. two power supplies, two everything. It appears as though I call Deepa, that's the company that makes the Trojan Deepa's Trojan system. And it appears so the power supply on the left hand side is shot. I and I found out a way to corroborate it. That's what he said. After all <laughs> my analysis and explained. So I went over there today and said, ah, oh, this is easy. I could just take that off, put it on the good side, put all the good stuff in and see if it works. But I didn't have time. I would have had to start taking apart the DVD. I mean, uh, the tube and everything, and I could do this thing. So I'm going to triple check to make sure there is nothing wrong. There, that is broken. But we still have one um, one complete setup that's working, and we have spare parts for <coughs> pardon me, just about everything. Okay. Um, lastly, like I said a few minutes ago about the wood uh, for, for um, that was cut. <coughs> Excuse me, we're going to do some cut up the tops. And wood chip the boughs somewhere in October. Mark's going to call Jake at the new thing to see if they'll let us use their wood chipper or rent it to us or something to clean up the mess that was made. Oh, right. that was <coughs> so we'll clean up the boughs and the tops and everything. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of more trees there that need to that are pretty ragged and need to be removed. But um, that's it. <coughs> All right, um, I've got a new town report from Mr. Tanza. Uh, um, I don't really have much of a select board chair report. We did, I did have another animal control complaint or the dog barking dealt with that. Uh, we're, we're working on a health officer situation. We're working with that. Um, and Bruce? So that's your report. I talked to um, Melissa yesterday quite a while. I really like her. Uh, and uh, we're, we're, we're talking about the fact that we're understaffed. 
select board. Mm-hmm. And she's a lawyer and she had an administrative assistant. And I joked, said, well, I've been beaten up on top forever about that. She, and, and she said full time administrative assistant. I saw that here nor there. The problem with getting an administrative assistant is part time, is not much to offer, and who's going to want to do it? And I asked her, she said she would do it. She would mention this to you that she's going to look out and see if there's anybody that might be interested in um, filling that position. If, if we well, that, that's one of the things doing. that we, we, we tossed around here and there. We can talk about this under old business um, administrative help that we tabled on 9 7. Okay. But well, yeah, that's it. That's um, all. That's all I have to say about it. Anyway, so. Okay. Very good. Um, any any other select board discussions that we'd like to bring up? I've been emailing her. Obviously, you've been talking with her. Uh, I'm wondering if I should draw back a little bit and not ask her questions and ask someone else to ask her. I just don't want to inundate her with lots of questions. She's fine. She is. Oh, I, I talked to her for half an hour yesterday. She's sweet. <laughs> She has no problems with us at all. And, you know, it's, I, I don't sense any blowback okay. at all. all right. Zero. Good. Well, my name is Zero. She has a great act. Thank you. And whatever. That's pretty, pretty much it. Any other reports? Uh, not till old business. Okay. Uh, under new business, I just wanted to say the Brookline Meeting House grant. The Brookline Meeting House has completed their grant application uh grant that they wanted to put the bids with that came in however mm-hmm. um we didn't get any bids i'm not sure i clearly went back to the bid and it is here dated september 21st 2022 6 30 p.m mm-hmm. they will be open at approximately 6 45 p.m so i'm not sure we we'll yep. table that at this time uh, I was just going to read through this, and then I was going to put this in the select board's mailbox, okay. and anybody can take it out and just read through it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not asking for anybody to edit or modify it, because I think the committee at the Vermont Preservation is, is a qualifying. We'll, we'll review this and see the, the merits of it. Well, we don't have a price. <clears throat> we don't have it. No, well, we didn't get a yeah. piece the, for the floor. So I'm not sure how would the select board like us to handle it if there Tell we we have no okay. I did. Oh, you did. You did well, it, I think there's one more step we need to go beyond that. And is that I thought that as part of submitting the application, they it needed to be submitted it. with a bid. Yeah. Otherwise, it can't be done. So it would appear, unless one materializes between now and the can't do deadline it. date, there's no they have no numbers. They have and no if they've already done the app, then I don't need to be involved as I have already. So yeah, they should need your rights. Then. It's a little ancient since they did the last one, and I think that's correct. They have to. You have to have certification I mean, of, of, of amounts. Right. Historic preservation trusts, and I'm used to yeah. preservation trusts. So yeah. they, they, they have, have a different procedure. I don't no, know. I, I believe it's correct. But yeah. in the past, when you and I were on the board, uh-huh. it was always felt that there had to be a bid, so you know what, right. what the amount you're looking for applies. Right. And That's the 1550 calculation could be done up front. I still have that paperwork when it goes home, to the man. committee for approval. Wow. I saw that bid stuff at home. I can't, I bet it's right in there, too. But anyway, I'm pretty, pretty sure if that's the case. So, this is two years in a row, not because anybody is trying to screw things up, that it was deferred. I'm wondering if we, if there's another time other than the fall that an application can be made to the surface they can, and start. Two and a half months ahead of something. I mean, we already got the RFP. We just need to republish the RFP for the future date. Maybe sure. further ahead of time. You know, okay. I would have thought this would have been prime to this because it's the fall, and anybody well, who is into that business wants to plan for next year. Since nobody responded, maybe <laughs> being able to react to Carrie Bourne, and maybe he'll come up with because this is all Carrie Bourne's work, right? This is all his right. I have no right. idea. I don't That's think what? he submitted a bid. I don't think he's in. No, he did not submit a bid. Got no bids. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, I, I who came up with the idea on how all that work? On how to uh, do it? Who came up? With as that? I said, this bids are due to us by the twenty seventh. It's not due the twenty seventh. The bids are due on the twenty first. So, I don't know if there's some miscommunications. I don't know. But in any case, we've tabled any 
work on this. We will have to move on. There's no okay. new business to decide on. Okay. One quick question. Yes, sir. The RFP, it, it indicated they had to contact the ant, correct? Mm -hmm. I believe it did. Hopefully she didn't tell them. Schedule a site visit, contact the Brooklyn Meeting House Chair Leanne Barker okay. at Jensenly at gmail.com. So if there she had a misunderstanding of date and she had entertained somebody, she misadvised the master. She would have known. She sent me an email, a text today about dropping this at my house and dropping it in the box. Yeah. I said bring it to the box so I will forget it then. Okay. So she she was aware of tonight's. All right, we shall move. Oh, the other thing was before new business. Uh, yesterday, when Stan and I were meeting briefly, Guy Tanzi came in and asked about our salt supplies and getting things moving. And so I sent out an email to both Cargo and to American Rock Salt just to see what's up. And Rock, American Rock Salt sent us back a bid uh, already of $94 per ton delivered. Um, I wasn't you know, so I'm just going to wait for car bill. It's just a fluke thing, and it got back to me right away, but it will be on the agenda for the next meeting. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Wyndham Regional Commission Services and Grants Administrative Health. We, we tabled it on 9 7. I'd like just to start by saying when Dan and I were in here yesterday, and we, okay, I'm going to show you what we did. I'll show everybody. We did this. We opened up the file and we went to take a look at bids. This is how this is what the file looks like. Okay, I'm sort of it's got for years worth of bids. We need someone to come in and and you know, if it was a church, I think we'd get volunteer, but this is a municipality, and I don't want to have, I, I would like someone with some responsibility to come in and to sort through five things by date and contract. And because it's just, it's, it's just all in here. Yeah. All in here. And that's just one file. So when we look at administrative, we're thinking, you know, start off with just file keeping. Yeah. Um, and you know, you don't have to hire a full time administrative assistant to do everything, but we can start off as cleaning up some of the stuff. Yeah, but that's where the problem was, I think, in that, you know, nobody's going to want to do part time. That's my guess. And I even I threw that by <laughs> Melissa because Melissa said full time assistant, uh, administrative assistant. And so that's where the problem was. Because to get, and then she said she could throw some of her time and work towards that administrative assistant. She said that well, she might be interested in helping out a little bit more than what she's doing. Maybe. No, I meaning that some of her work that she does could be transferred to this person that took over the administrative. Yes, yeah, so to develop a, an understanding of what is an administrative assistant. We don't have any full time mm -hmm. members, and we mm -hmm. I would want to follow that train of thought a little more deeply. Is she saying she doesn't need the hours she currently has assigned to her? No, she And that she can spend more time doing something else for a full 20 hours? None of that was fresh. It's recording with... Sorry, I don't know the answer to this one. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Alexa? Yeah. yeah. She was typing everything you said. She doesn't she exercise else. when she wants to do it. <laughs> so, no, so, no, she's not, so no. what is she not... What is she... What is she... What is she... What is she saying is... When I responded to the fact that there probably is a problem getting a full-time administrative assistant, because we were initially thinking of a part-time administrative assistant, he said, well, maybe she could do some of the things that I have. She wants some of her work towards this other person. She wasn't saying anything that you were saying. No, she's not looking for me. So she's been looking for extra hours. No. What else can it be? No, no, no. But she's going to do it. She's no, no, she wants no. to pass some of her work to somebody. No, else. she said in order to satisfy the need of filling a, a full time administrative system, if there were shorts, shorts of hours, she might be able to peel off some of her work to fill that position. I'm not looking for a full time anybody. I am yeah. not. I, yeah. It's not, not necessary. Yeah, we don't have a heavy OR for a small town. You want to walk into some of the other towns and see what they have to say. I would recommend at most, not that this is on the agenda, oh. since it's brought up, 
part-time and have advice. Nice. So you might be a high school student who has I nothing to do. I don't know if you're going to get an adult. I mean, you, you can try it. I'll tell you one thing. You've been running around with the question. Yesterday, Stan and I went downstairs to look up some finance figures in the 19, 2018 boxes. And I was yeah. very impressed with the neat and organized system that those files were organized in. Weren't they nice? They were just very. You couldn't and answer that. This was something. Maybe Jimmy would be interested in adding some hours to just filing something, someone of, you know what I'm saying? Or, or Gwen, like, well, what did she you wants to do more work. You know, she's but quite retired. How do you want to? So, all right. So, now let's talk about Wyndham Regional Services and Grants. Um, hear a little bit more about what they have. And and I do think just starting off with something has like that file's a mess. We have the file, we have the start with so many little people. That's it. You have, to you have to start with somebody that will, is admitted is willing to do some of this work. I I don't understand where you're coming at coming at that way. Well, you need to straighten out the box. No, we need more than that. You need assistance, and probably Stan needs assistance too. Uh, so we need to maybe develop a position uh, and try advertising. We've done this before, though, haven't we? No. You haven't asked me anything. No. I, I've got enough things on my plate. If someone wants to sit down and organize some kind of list of the kind of things someone's going to do, I should go for it. Yeah. Well, I'm just wondering if uh, we're going to get a response to it. You know? I mean, I'm, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm through, you know, taking ideas. I'm not looking for to create extra work. I'm, I'm looking to do the opposite. I am too, but I don't think. We need someone full time. What are you going to pay? Okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. Well, okay. That was your suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just looking to fill a need. And I see the need being that you guys do a lot of stuff that could be panned off to an administrative system. Am I wrong? Well, some That's of it I can and some of it I can't. There you go. There's I see tire racks and stuff, and there's aspects of it that change from contract to contract. Okay. The work I did on the retirement program, I would not thrust. Too many I understand. unknowledgeable people to do that. I understand. And I'm not looking to, to, to stop you from doing that. All I'm saying is this lady right here is buried with work all the time. That's and I would like to see you get some help. So I'm open for suggestions and ideas. And I think we should pursue Very it. kind of you. Appreciate you know, that's all I'm looking at. So when the regional services and services for providing that, that they have? Administrators. They, they actually can, like, if we needed a town manager to come in or something. Uh -huh, you know. a little serious. Yeah, those are serious positions, you know, issues. Um, okay. I don't know what level of administrative assistance they offer. I would be perfectly, as a side question, willing to ask uh, Margo oh, what, what, this is our dilemma. This is where we are. As concisely and quickly as possible. Yeah. Is that barking up your tree? And right. if you and what have you and if it is, what have you experienced with other towns? How many hours does it contain? Mm -hmm. What kinds of things are they doing to work at it from that end instead of we never having had one? Try to guess what someone else would want to do to make it important enough for them and worthwhile for them economically to spend time when you're doing. Or maybe somebody from another town can jump in was looking for some extra work and some doing administrative work. For the town of uh, Halifax, or whatever, now is willing to do, do another ten or fifteen hours a week with us. They don't. Is is uh, missing uh, New Bain's administrative assistant? No, she's a full time. She's full time. Yeah. Full time. Yeah. Full -time. But, yeah. Full -time. As far as administrative assistant, do they have one at New Bain that's full time? Full -time. Yes. When at a poly, yeah, I heard the name, like you have probably seen it, but um, I just wondered if she was on their clock at full time or part time. Full time. And I suspect she's pretty spiffy because when I was doing work when we had Tropical Storm Irene, yeah. they had asked me to appraise some properties that the town could buy out that had been flooded. And the person who was the administrative assistant, that is the person I interact with, that person was sharp. She had control of the files. She knew what was going on. She's interacting with FEMA. 
She interacted with the well, subdivisions for the state in between FEMA, and and that is their administrative assistance capability. And I have no doubt this is the same. If it's Winnetta Collin, whom I've dealt with a little bit because I've got a little bit of um, very nice lady, never met her, real nice lady in the phone. Really, I, very happy. But anyway, but Melissa Brown knows what we're looking for, and she knows Winnetta Collin because she worked with her. So I would say that if that's even an option, I'm sure uh, I'm sure we'll get back to this. I'm going to make a suggestion. If she was, you know, um, I, I, I already said I'd like to talk to one and just to find out a little bit more about about what she does and where she learned and, and, and okay. skills. All right. I would then like to consider sending an email out to any employee that we have here at Town Hall, our listers, our treasurers, our assistant treasurers, our auditors, our Formally. committee members, say, we're looking, or, or, or is anyone interested in coming aboard and assisting us in a part-time basis to be determined hours and salary people okay, so like that. work in house. And if we don't get any response that way, then we put it out to the listserv. And then well, that we go to front and then we go to some other, but I think we need to start it Yeah, house. well, you got a point there. It's kind of like what we're doing with the logs with the Mark. We hand it out to the town first, see if anybody's interested in that. Then we move out. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll talk with one that just just to familiarize myself a little bit about what an administrative assistant really entails. Uh -huh. um, and then I'll then I'll come up with a letter to the staff, anybody who I can find in my email list, uh -huh. and send it out, and and report that next meeting. Okay. To, to to even look at this in more of a in completed circle, I believe Melissa completed the employees' income and uh, report to the LCT. I would almost bet in that. We yearly summary that we now have access to because she completed it. Uh, it's for, for statewide, if not this region of the state, what other administrative assistants are being paid. Well, yeah, no. So that we know going into it, this is what we want, but by doing this, what are we going to be committed to? Right. Yeah. So that yeah, little ditty may be added to that so that we have a little more of an understanding, not yeah. get into it and find out well, it's going to be too expensive. Yeah. All right. Well, that's very good. Thank you for your time and consideration on this, and I think it will be yeah. helpful for all of us to know that some of the some of the tedious tasks will be lifted from uh, us, and we'll be more organized. Anybody who comes in new goes into that file. There's duplicated. There's well, it's all duplications in there. There's nothing, and there's all years. It's not sorted by years. The file, the financial files downstairs. Beautifully done. Who did it? I don't know. I guess I don't know. But it's already for the auditors. It's really nice and organized. Mm -hmm. Who is the person we had you for a while? Oh, Louise. Oh, Louise. Oh, Louise. She, she did some of that. But I'm, yeah, been, in 2018, probably would have been around. Mm -hmm. yeah, she could have been around three or four years ago. I think she was in. Right, but it's fallen away. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, not to belabor the point, but well, I was in there after you left uh -huh. yesterday. I found stuff like photos of the bridge that we repaired that we used the bond for, uh -huh. sitting under a pile of stuff on top of something else. Oh, I put them in the file just to try to help organize it. Right. There's a lot that could be done. Right. Sure. And, I, and I know at one point we said, you know, if I had the time, I'd volunteer to do it. But this is a municipality, it's not a church, it's not a, it's not a food bank kind of thing. We, we need to hire somebody. Yep. And, and be responsible for that. Okay. All right. Next old business, uh, Beamers versus Paychecks Retirement Fund discussion. We ended up tabling that as well. Um, and Did you get that? Um, yeah, it's 10 days ago. Yes. 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 I had a question. And excuse me if I'm being simplistic. But this all started 13 months ago. That was when we started it. And, and initially, uh, there was good intentions. The guy said we couldn't do it because we had to go through people, people bank because of our accounts. 
That's one of the questions I asked Melissa yesterday. So, Melissa, what's stopping us from having Mark make a contribution to a bank, an IRA, and it's got an account number, and he brings a receipt back to the treasurer, and they correspondingly make the payment yeah. to that bank through the account number? I think this is gonna be my opinion. This is gonna be way out of hand. We're paying people to do this. It's not as if it's not as if we have five, 10, 20, 30 people that are under this situation. We have one person that we made a commitment to to, to give them a retirement plan. So my suggestion is that and I tried to call the I tried to call DLC DLC twice. Okay, four was off. Yesterday, couldn't get through. I don't know what's going on. I was trying, before this meeting, I was trying to clear my idea with them before I bothered you all with it. But like I said, maybe I'm being too simplistic. But if that man over there went to wherever he wants the bank and sets up an IRA, and he's got an IRA, and he said, Melissa, I put $1,000 into the IRA today. Here's my receipt with the account number. And we cut a check for the, the 5% that goes through the AP warrant that's signed off by the, by the select board, and it goes into that account. Sounds so, simple. I know. But that's what I said. I mean, it's not, government, it's not, a, it's not the way it works. So why? Right? Because it's a town municipal government, it's taxpayer money. So okay. we may need to, and this is what, you yeah. know, you've gotten some paperwork that Stan has shared. We may need to sit down in an executive session, since it's dealing with an employee, and so. renegotiate or decide on how to renegotiate that. Okay. That. <clears throat> I go where you're going. Process and may not the honor may not fly because we would have to then set it for everyone. Okay, just a moment. Okay. I think to, we, we may have to may it. Maybe we detail it. Really nice. I hear a lot of many names, and we're all not sure. And I'm making it. I got all. Thank you. For I got everything. Again. But I, I'm suggesting this. Bill, asking BLCT exactly what what that thought is, and if there's a way to do it. Have you already contacted? Them? I already contacted. Them. Okay. It's a, it's a good. They don't. Okay. They don't get involved. They don't do type of time. They wouldn't. So they wouldn't give you a legal answer uh, to to the, that question. The tax question. So I understand. From the state and federal level. And I understand. They are the ones that regulate how we time for anything we do is under their purview. And and then there may be workarounds, there may not be. So what uh -huh. God is saying is it is a municipality. And mm -hmm. if it's it, and it, we need to look That's at the individual. What you're saying is I think a concept that we probably all like to have happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the detail the, they all will say devil's in the details. Yeah. And so, I and I think that's a question that ought to be done in executive session, frankly. You got a point. So, I know yeah. we have some, just if we can sit down and we're looking at retroactively, of course, because this is already been over a brand year. It would make it impossible based upon our information to do that with one of these other programs. So, um, I would like to. Uh, at some point, we don't have to decide tonight. I know mm -hmm. you're going away. And right. that but I will look at that spreadsheet. I've already looked at it twice, but I'll look at it more. I'll probably have the opportunity to keep it and look it up on, on my laptop and look at it. Right. I won't tell anybody, I'll just do it. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, because the costs involved in, in maintaining yeah. the program from one person and and over and five years is. is well, the pay, but paycheck is a lot of money. Right. Beavers was 1%, I believe. At, if I remember correctly, and the one percent coming from the municipality for administrative fees, if I'm remembering this correctly, it's one eighth of a percent. Okay, I'm sorry, and it restricted the amount that market put in to three and a half percent. Do I have that? Correct? Well, it's not that simple. There's two routes. There's one where Mark is going to have a choice if we go beamers, or he decides what do I want to do. But I want to get a set check amount every month after I retire. That's a, a, a committed amount 
subsequent to retirement. And the rates on that are different from this next category that you might have a chance to pick from if we go that route, which is that you can choose, you don't want to set them out to get after retirement, you can choose this other plan, which allows you to deposit at 5%. The town would have to be at 5.125% with the town absorbing that one acre in interest as a cost to it for providing you the program. Uh, and that you just continue to contribute to for, you know, whenever you decide to retire or do a drop on the program. So the, one, the first one is right now 3.5. 3.5, I think, yes. with the town at 5.125. Right. However, the lady I just talked to, because the other lady that I was talking to was on medical leave, I got channeled to another lady. She gave me a whole different sheet for the set benefit that you're going to get when you retire. It'll never change. And that rate for you to contribute and the town goes up a quarter of a percent every year till whenever and it's what? of an interest rate on the amount that's deposited oh. that week oh so okay. if we start out at five and then and we five and one eight it becomes five and a quarter five and three eighths for the town it just keeps going up both we sides have to keep it in every every once a year for four years maybe better plot it out for the next 12 intervals of time meaning each year for for uh, uh, for twelve years, uh, going up a quarter percent, so, which means that our cost is going up. What Mark would have to contribute, I right. I suspect it's got something to do with the fact that the town has underfunded its retirement system for teachers and highway employees uh -huh. and, and so forth. So uh -huh. they're making it up that way. This is what my question, Mark. You're fifty-seven. Yeah, yeah you're fifty-seven. So he can only have, uh, he can only have a retirement contribution for basic dependent years because he has the four. It's a 57 and a 59 and a half. Excuse me, I'm only collecting. Uh, I can't run 57, 67 and a half, 69 and a half. It's one of the two. It, it may even have I changed. Believe, I believe it's 69 and a half. But I then you would have to until I retired at 70. Yeah, and then, but that's it. Oh, after seven, after you retire, of course. Right. And there, in 70 was a cutoff. That's yeah, why it's higher. Yeah, I believe it's 69. Okay. okay. And that means, so basically when we're discussing all this, being as in Mark's 57, we're looking at a window of 12 and a half years that would be covered. Mm -hmm. Just want to bring it I, I'm going to have to stop you here. I'm going to have to say this. If we can't say what I said. We, we have to look at a type of policy that the town of Brookline will follow for this and any other position that may come about. You can't, it's not just, <clears throat> it is right now, but it's the position. It's the position. So it, if Mark decides to leave, whoever comes into the position would still yeah. Yeah, that. get that. So we have to come up with a, that's why I'd like to meet an executive session and maybe rethink how to present this to the current employee or ease uh, that this might Im uh, impact. And so when I, we're our next select board meeting is the fifth. So some maybe sometime in October or certain <laughs> budget season, but well, we're gonna get him straight now as soon as possible. Yeah, I, I think we just put an hour, you know, we come in on some afternoon or some morning, not at the end of a meeting when we're all tired. And sit down and just focus on this. Well, type up the description. Why don't we have the answers first before we have any views? If so, once we just we would simulate it all, simulate it all, compile all that information, um, taking away from the simplistic approach and adding all the variables and have done. Well, that's this, right? What? That's yes, which I got at home. I okay. Read it so, once. so we will go through this. I have some ideas. I okay. talked to Melissa about it, and and uh, it would be on to the word. It's a bonus. You know how we do a stipend for the dog board, and it could be a bonus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It could be for listen. Because right now you have to be a policy. Yeah, I understand. You're trying to make it so it's for the. You can't make it for Mark, obviously. You got to make it for the position. 
is what and there's, that's all other consideration. When you're doing it under the federal government's guideline. Mm -hmm. It's a thousand and forty hours a year, or whatever that works out to 24 or 26 hours uh, a week average. Okay. Now, if we're if something is done on the side, what's to say that an employee who's working 10 12 hours a week says, You're not in a government program, I want the same thing. There's all kinds of litigation that needs to be looked at before we start getting into vocalizing in an open forum okay, what right. it is we want to consider and how we're going to go about it. Okay. And the only thing I can say is we should try to conclude this before we get to budget season. Absolutely. Uh, and we can, and, and we're going to go to March now, March, March, we're going to be moving to retroactively taking care of this for him. Uh, if he's lost any interest, we can talk about that later. But um, uh, one other thing, Mark, if I can, and if I'm going too no, long and somebody wants to no, cut me no, out, okay. 60 second statement, say the word now. Now. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, the Beamers program, the first person that I talked with said we could go back and make up that year that we lost. The person who sent me responses to questions that I presented this week said we can't do that. So that's what we're so no, we're in a dilemma. Yeah. You don't have the right answer. It's not an easy decision and there's a lot of okay. Yeah. So there's reasons why this is of importance. It's important. We should get it over and done with, but yeah. there's there's catches everywhere we turn. Yeah. So I'd like to say that on the uh, October 5th select board meeting that we'll set a gotcha. date for a, a special okay. executive. And I will session. absorb that that spreadsheet. Really well, so that I think I read twice quick, but I'll read it even more thoroughly. Well, then before you do that, I I, I included the rate in the first column here for Mark on the Beamers okay. at three and a half percent because okay. I was under the impression that's what the rate. But you don't know that, but, but it was person. yesterday, the day before yesterday, the, the second person sent me a rate sheet for constant retirement benefit. And that that starts not at three and a half. It starts much higher than that, like close to five, if not five. Okay, and then so the numbers are going to change. So the numbers are going to change. So if you want to use this, I guess my question to you is: if you want to use this as a rough guide? You can, but if you would like, I can make it more accurate. No, I use the rough guide. We can clear it up later. Okay. I got it. That's that's easy. So, so on the fifth, we'll okay. decide on a date and have yeah, a. Uh, Mark, that's what you're saying. I just. I know we thought previous meetings a little bit about it, and um, you know, there's some weeks where I, like through the winter, I, I won't have many hours at all some weeks, so it's not going to be but the a consistent a schedule. So it wouldn't come out of a weekly paycheck because he's not working. Yeah, I didn't know how oh, I see. Yeah, so with, uh, that's what we, we realized that pretty well. well. In order to be a part of it. Land, I guess, in thousand forty or thousand, thousand yeah. forty for the year, and you have to have an average weekly hours worked of a minimum of twenty. I think it's twenty four. Yeah, I just read that on the stand. So, so if it's not coming out anywhere near that for two months, that's another thing oh. we need to look at. Okay. Well, shall we move on then? Good point. Yeah, Good yeah point. we just need to do some work. Okay. Yeah. So, all right. Um, next on uh, email and down here the communications. Uh, interesting thing here. Um, it's only for our records because we don't have a constable, but it's a reminder that if the town has a constable, they must be a trained in first aid CPR firearms qualified. They have electrical weapons training, which is stun gun training. They have to have a domestic violence response training and support. They, there's an awful lot to do. So when they say, oh, just hire a constable, we don't have that no. kind of the problem. But that's, that's what says. Like, like, that. <laughs> and um, that's all I have for that in the regular mail. Any other yes. emails? Um, that. All right, next thing is to approve the minutes for September 7th. So if we take after minutes, we'll go. Oh, thank you. How do you know I want to be constant? Please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
last possible was uh, this main line up. And before that, right room. Okay, yeah. right. And then they started changing all the requirements. So that just confirms what, what we've been hearing uh, uh, in the past. Okay, so we'll take a look at page one of seven for oh, the draft okay. minutes from Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. Um, if anybody have any changes from page one, I had none. Any changes on page two? We had none. Any changes on page three? Yes. On page three, Mr. Mello. Second line on the draft minutes, the word premises was spelled wrong. The word three. premises was spelled wrong. Unless I'm spelling it wrong. Okay. Any other changes on page three? Well, I question first line, fifth paragraph. Uh, the three points were Stanford, Brattleboro, and Winchester. I don't believe Vermont has a Winchester Township. Oh, Winchester it's, in it's in New Hampshire. Massachusetts. There's one in Massachusetts too. Right. Yeah, below the Winchester and New Hampshire. Right. So I'm just wondering what other town he could have been referring to. I have some paperwork right. so here. Hinsdale, Ashley, Winchester. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Brattleboro, Stanford, and Marlboro. Okay. Yeah. So it should say Stanford, Brattleboro, and Marlboro, not Winchester. Okay. Correct. Okay. That's the three towns they had from day one designated to be the first town started. Yeah, that's not right. sounds a little weird. He might have met Wyndham County. No, it's just, it, well, this is what he's talking about. These three okay. things Stanford, yeah. okay. Brattleboro. Okay. Those three towns are on the original loop of the three loops that are going to be done. They're the first one, so it has to be somewhere that part of the state. Anything else on page three? Page four any changes for page four? Page four. Any changes on page five? Any changes on page six? You look pretty good, didn't you? Any really changes on page seven? <laughs> no, we're hired for next week. All those in favor of approving the minutes from September 7th as amended, please signify by saying aye. 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 The motion has passed unanimously with those three changes. Okay. Um, I said agenda for October 5th. Uh, on the agenda for October 5th, we will set the date for a special executive session to discuss the employment contracts. Okay. I forgot uh, something. On we can meeting. talk about, we'll probably talk about the Brad Brooklyn Meeting House and what yeah, happened there. Yeah, let's all that. Um, what else would you think about? Uh, we're probably going to be at a point where we're going to be uh, looking to renew the contract with Linden Regional on the sand salt shed. Okay. Because that expired 30th of June of this year. So we're already two plus months and beyond its expiration date. And uh, pursuant to our discussion yesterday about the cost, $13,200, I went and we looked at that sentence that that 132 was mentioned. And the way it is phrased does refer to those five categories after we we so, so it's not twenty six thousand four hundred dollars it okay. will be thirteen two broken up in those five categories but I still have to ask for the questions that we talked about so we get the reimbursement on that all right so I'm thinking well we are getting reimbursed, reimbursed. Yeah, yeah but the issue the issue uh does we yeah Would we only get reimbursement if we're pulling out of the contract uh if we're saying I, I didn't see anything in this contract that says we wouldn't, but I should ask them. All right. So we'll at the next meeting we'll talk about the Wyndham Regional contract and uh, any other ideas. You know, we'll throw those together. Oh, I'll have the bank bond response. Okay, bank bond. Good. I keep bringing this up, but when do we start? Not that I'm looking forward to working on the budget, November. I'm going to have the auditor should be ready to start working on the last year's audit in October. Um, I'll have to ask Melissa about 
Yeah, we need to get a handle on the budget. Yeah, well, we we we've given a deadline for the appropriations. Was it October thirtieth? Yes, October thirtieth. Okay, and we had a town treasurer this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and so last year. We got into January pretty good It was getting a little tight, if I remember correctly. The auditors weren't getting to well, it. And... The auditors were, hadn't done some work. And I, I we were right, ready. Right. We the boxes are ready. That was the delay. Okay. That was the delay. We, we were all set. We were right. set and they, they were asked, at least I think, by, by I emailed twice. Some no, okay. Um, okay. Because David was, if I remember right, was getting a little nervous because he had to do town books. Right. So, yes, another thing. I mean, we're doing the town books, the, the, the report. I have no problem filling in, as I mentioned last year, right after David left the board. But I'd like to know ahead of time so so that I have enough time between whatever date and whatever is needed to acquire or utilize the former template he has on his computer okay, right. so that I don't have to go back and recreate the wheel. So let's right. put that on town report. Let's, right. then, let's have a, a brief. He, he made a point of making it available to us. I also want to talk, get the town plans going. Yes. I mean, I brought the town plan, which was back in the town plan was from 2017. 18, 19, 20, 21, 24. It's got to go. It's got to start going. And you, you started the year before. So a lot of the material will be the same. It's historical material doesn't change much. Um, but they do have to do surveys and oh, really? so on and so forth of the community yeah. members. <laughs> <laughs> They're outside today. You can tell. Um, Who's on that committee? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it was Tom Cavett. Yeah. He, he passed the, the torch to. Daniel Kilgarden, Charlie Zico, Charlie Zico, Barbara Bourne, um, and Dan so, Tower offered to be. Well, I'm going to ask Dan, Dan Tower, and Ruth Dano had said in a when I reached out earlier this year that they could possibly help out <laughs> somewhere, and so I got to get the town plan coordinated okay. and suggest that they may want to reach out to those two residents for for the two or three months of work that okay. they're going to have to do. Okay. But that's not nothing guaranteed. And that's not something we really have we we really have to worry about. No, they have a key hearing and things of that sort to do that right. thing. Okay. So Mark has uh, salt yes, sir. Right? you were hoping to get a top. Uh, and all the salt prices will mm -hmm. add that on us. Yes, the salt price. And okay. So uh don't we need to bring up the three foot day and the culvert is in Oh the FEMA. Mm -hmm. Culvert. Okay, very good. There was something else, but I can't remember right now. So we can always we can add, add it. it. Don't send me a note and, and I'll okay. put it in. All right, if there's nothing else, I would like to entertain a motion to adjourn this evening's meeting. We have a second, second, second. seconded by Bruce. Yes, yes, Any yes. discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting signify by saying aye. 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 We can adjourn at 7.55 p.m.